Hey there, Pisces. Hope you're doing well. I did a recording for you and I don't know what happened with the sound. So I was just checking again to make sure we are good. It was kind of a bit bizarre. So I'm here. I hope you are having a great Christmas for those who are celebrating. Uh, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, that you are feeling good, supported, cared for, and all the things. So Pisces, let's see what is happening for you. If you're new here, welcome. For those returning, as always, appreciate you being here. Okay, whoa. So what we have got for you, Elmoria, Elmora. More, yeah. <laughs> um, awakening presence. So we've got the universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. Sanat Kumara, light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. And then we've got Kathumi cloak of wisdom you already know the answer you seek trust to what you know pisces what is going down all right for some of you what i'm getting that's coming through with this energy and these cards is there's this aspect of you pisces that i feel is um questioning your sense of worth or sense of like sense of um direction there's something here that feels like you're not clear but feel clear don't feel 100 percent certain or safe there's something here because we've got protection and love we've got activation and knowing the answers so let's dive a little bit deeper and see what this is for you loves okay yeah so seven of cups this is about you making a choice towards something you've got the queen of wands Yeah, it's interesting. We've got cloak, cloak, protection. There's just something here that I feel like maybe you're sharing information with someone and to be mindful of that, Pisces, on what someone is giving out to you or advice they're giving out to you. Because with the Seven of Cups, this is about a choice that you're making, but you're also very clear, it seems, on your goals, your path direction. And at the same time, then you're feeling like, can you pull this off? Can you make this happen? Do you have what you need to do what you got to do? I'm sorry, this is pushing the camera right over. <laughs> Forgive me, there was like cards there that I wanted to get. So we have the temperance and the full card. So the question is here, Pisces, in addition to what you're feeling, when you come back to self, what, what is it that makes you feel connected, that makes you feel supported, that makes things feel right, that gives you that yes kind of energy? Because I feel like that's what could be potentially in question. Are you really connecting to your truth and what's in you? It's interesting. You've got wearing a cloak of protection and cloak of wisdom. So to me, this is you know what you need to do. But for some reason, you're, you're concerned about that approach or going for it. So spirit's kind of saying like, apply love to the situation, love for yourself, love like having courage, love in just doing and being. Um, but importantly, if you're not feeling like supported or safe in whatever you're doing, and it could just be safe, like because it is unknown or because what are people going to think of you because of judgment, something of that nature. But I feel like spirit's kind of saying this, all you... All you need to do in this aspect is just remember that you are supported and then working away within yourself to 
move forward in that aspect. I think once you get there, you're going to realize that you can take a leap forward and feel really good and confident about this. Okay. So let's have a look at this seven of cups energy. Thank you, spirit. What's this seven of cups energy? Yeah, there's two, I feel major decisions that you're trying to bring into balance for yourself. There could be other choices, but I think there's two main things here that you're trying to figure out how to make work. So whether this is like your love life, family, career, money, purpose, there's something here you're trying to figure out and balance out. So you feel good in, in the long term, just not in the short term is what I'm getting. So with the queen of pentacles, we've also got the eight, ace of cups. Share more on this ace of cups energy. Thank you. And then we've got the nine of pentacles. So part of this questioning could be you're feeling pretty, you know, connected in terms of your goals and what it is that you're working towards and making it happen. You're also quite independent in doing your thing and, and following your path and journey in some aspect here, Pisces. But there's also this Ace of Cups where there's an opportunity coming on in. And this could be where you're questioning if this is connected to what you really want and where you want to go. Because you like doing your thing. You like doing you your way. And you also have goals. And this offer an opportunity could be connected to that. But it's also scary, right? Because you're like, I don't want to get hurt or, you know, I want to make sure this works out. Whatever that that is for you. Uh, five of Pentacles. We've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant. So I feel like there were some lessons that had to be learned at some point through this journey that you're going through here, Pisces. Um, again, whether this is your career, relationships, or with self, right, at the end of the day. But there's something here that I feel has shifted or that has changed and you've learned a lot from this dynamic, this situation. Okay. And I feel like this is getting back to the depths of you and what makes you feel connected in what it is that you're doing, whether this is, you know, creating more structure for yourself, whether this is learning more, um, you know, Pisces subject to where you are in your chart, you might find that, you know, further education is going to be an important chapter for you subject to what your rising and your moon energies are. Okay. You might find this is quite a, an emphasis of learning more to really apply new things and new ways in your life. But I feel like there's just, again, some lessons here that you have to pay attention to because it's been a cycle and pot potentially it's been happening again and again, kind of like a karmic cycle. If we don't keep learning, it keeps showing up. So I just feel like there's something here with this five of pentacles. If you keep finding yourself in similar situations of people leaving or money coming in and out all the time, um, you know, certain jobs, whatever it is for you, there's something here I feel that needs to be paid attention to, to better support yourself going forward. Share more here on the Wheel of Fortune energy. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. So there's some form of cycle ending is what I'm getting. There's something that's coming to a close and something that you're going to, that Spirit's asking you to pay attention to. And you might've been working over it the last few months, especially like with I mean, far out, I don't know about you, but it's been pretty intense ride the last few months for sure. Uh, and the last year, pretty significantly for your Pisces. So uh, with the temperance, we've also got the queen of pentacles. So whatever it is that you're closing out, learning, growing from, starting, you know, from a clean slate is kind of what I'm getting here. The temperance is about you taking your your knowledge, your sense of worth, your sense of heart and spirit and putting it into building this strong, stable place for you here, Pisces. Okay. Is what I'm getting. Share more on this queen of pentacles energy. I feel like this is you really coming back connected to your finances and financial independence, which it's showing up a lot here. You've got a lot of pentacles showing up, um, but connected to your plans and goals. So there is definitely something here you're working on that. I think you need to have a bit more belief and trust in, and probably that starts with yourself. Um, I just thought we might've had another card. So you've got the three of swords also showing up here with the queen of pentacles and the temperance. So this could be that there has been some form of losses, disappointment, sadness to something that you may have lost along your path on journey. Uh, again, this could be a job. This could be related to finances, a shakeup of some kind, but you're here to rebuild. You don't want to be sitting in this place of heartache. You want to take and claim this part of you 
to start building again. You know you've got the tools, the resources within, and you know that there's opportunity out there, but I think you're also trying to figure out what is the right steps forward to do what you need to do and make it happen where you feel safe, where you feel supported, and know this time it's going to work out. With the full energy, you've got the 10 of wands and the four of wands. So whatever burdens that you've been experiencing here, Pisces, it's kind of showing here with the full card, the 10 of wands and the four of wands, there's a new opportunity opening up. Any burdens, anything that you've been feeling, you're kind of letting it loose. You're letting it go. You're taking this leap forward to get more connected to where you feel you're meant to be. And I feel this gateway is opening and you actually connect it, see it and, and like, okay, this is where I need to be. This is where I need to go. So let's wrap up for you here and see, finally, you've got the emperor card and the eight of wands with the hangman. So whatever you've been in predicament about, whatever you're looking at, something's going to move forward quite quickly for you. And I feel like there's this, this strong go growth in your career, in your finances and on your way forward. And I think once you start paying attention to it, you're going to start seeing things build quite strongly. You're stepping into a place of leadership, of strength and really knowing what you're going after. And, and it's going to come back into you. You're going to attract more and you're not going to be sitting here in question anymore. I think you're going to sit for a while paying attention, but you're going to move forward really, really strongly. I'm going to leave that with you, Diz. We'll catch you later.